Angelina dreams of becoming a prima ballerina. Her best friend Alice dreams of becoming a champion gymnast. Anyway, you'll never guess, Angelina. I've been selected for the All Mouseland Gymnastics Championships. Really? Alice, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But they're never too busy to cheer each other on. Yay! Well done, Alice. Angelina always has time to lend a helping hand to family. Slowly onto that one. And new friends. Besides, you said you'd teach me that way. <laughs> Look for Angelina Ballerina in Lucky Penny on home video from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Coming to video in 2003. It's time to party. Let's dance. The Wiggles are at the movies. It's the Wiggles movie. It's Wiggle time! Join Greg, Murray, Jeff, Anthony, and all your favorite characters. Dorothy the Dinosaur, Wags the Dog, Henry the Octopus, and Captain Feathersword the Friendly Pirate. It's a non-stop song and dance extravaganza. Today is Dorothy the Dinosaur's birthday, and we're going to give a great big surprise birthday party for her tonight. It's a party and you're all invited. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? Everybody's twisting, Greg. Can you point your fingers? With all your favourite songs and fantastic new ones. All the fun. Oh, yeah! All the excitement. <gasps> the magic wand! It's gone! <laughs> and all the magic. Have a wiggling good time and join in the fun at the Wiggles Movie. Coming in 2003 from Hit Entertainment. All aboard for excitement with everyone's number one train, Thomas the Tank Engine. This delightful collection of award-winning videos and DVDs takes you on a magical journey around the island of Sodor. It's an enchanting world where life is never boring and fun lies around every bend. Now you can be part of the adventure with Thomas and all his railway friends. There's cheerful Percy, James in his splendid red coat, the proud and strong Gordon, and the ever faithful Toby. And don't forget the superintendent of the railroad, Sir Topham Hat, who makes sure everything keeps right on schedule. Each release contains a variety of fun-filled stories that teach the values of friendship, working together, and the importance of trust and honesty. Every journey is one you'll want to watch again and again. In addition, kids will enjoy a whole new experience as they discover all the magic and joy of Thomas on DVD. Hello, my name is Sir Topham Hat. Thomas and his friends welcome you to the island of Sodor. Travel with your tour guides, Thomas and Sir Topham Hat, as they navigate you through the island of Sodor to exciting places like the Thomas and Friends Character Gallery, the Read Along Story Depot, Sing Along Station, and the Fun and Game Shed, where you can play several exclusive games with your engine friends. So bring the fun out of the roundhouse and into your house. Add all of these titles to your Thomas collection today. Can you join it? Yes, you can. Join the Bob the Builder fan club by calling toll free 1-888-956-8762 or join online at www. BobTheBuilder.com. Be a part of Bob's crew.
Hey, do you think Bob's back yet? It's ages since we've seen him. Isn't it, Dizzy? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to tell him what we've been doing. And I'm gonna sing him my new song, Rock and Roll! Hello, everyone. everyone. Dad. Bobby. Hello, son. <laughs> well, well, haven't you grown? <laughs> Honestly, Dad, I stopped growing years ago, but I wasn't expecting you till the summer. I know, but I had a little free time. I wrote to tell you I was coming. See, here's the letter. Oh, uh, you know, it might have helped if I'd mailed it. <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Oh, it's great to see you. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great to see you, Bob, Dad. Come on. Let's go and have a cup of tea and catch up. Good idea, son. Wendy's out on a job with Lofty. I'll give her a call. That's great. But I thought now that you've retired, you like being at home with Mom, puttering around the garden and doing odd jobs. I do, Bobby, but to tell you the truth, I get kind of fed up with not having anything to really get my teeth into. Oh, well, it sounds like you need a nice little project to keep you busy. Uh, oh, I'll just get that. <laughs> No, no, you sit down, Wendy. I'll go. You don't have to do that, Dad. Gives me something to do. <coughs> Hello, Bob's building yard. Doctor Who? Oh, yes, well, of course we're interested. We? You better come right over. Absolutely. No problem. See you soon. Goodbye. Who is that, Dad? Oh, it was Dr. Mont something or other from the Heritage, Watson. Wants to talk to us about a castle. A, a castle? castle? Yes, yeah, sounds very interesting. Anyway, I just remembered. I bought some presents for the team. But, Dad, wait a minute. Oh, what does he mean? Talk to us about a castle. Hmm. Clubbity, 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 clubbity. Charge, charge. Oh, great. Slimy, slimy. That's really neat. <laughs> now, I hope you don't have this tape, Dizzy. They told me it was just out. <gasps> Lenny Lazenby's new album! Oh, brilliant! Thank you! <laughs> My pleasure, Dizzy. And this is for you, Rolly. Great! Thanks, Bob's dad. Uh, uh, what is it? <sighs> <laughs> You're going to love this. <laughs> now, back up. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's naughty! Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> Just a minute, you two. Let me give Scoop his present first. Oh, fantastic! Thanks, Bob's dad! To me! To me! <laughs> Here we go! Oh, yeah! And she's moving up the field and... Sorry, I didn't see you there. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. I've forgotten about it already. Sorry about that, dear. Boys will be boys. <laughs> I'm Dr. Florence Mount Fitchett from Local Heritage. Are you Bob the Builder? Yes. yes. Bob's the name, building's the game. Dad? Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting my manners. Uh, this is my son, Bobby. Um, hello. And he's a builder, too. Taught him myself, you know. And this is Wendy, a partner in the business. Oh, uh, hello, Dr. Mount Fitchett. Hello. And the rest of the team is Scoop. Hi. Rolly. Nice meeting you. Buck. Hello. Lofty. Hello. And Dizzy. It's me. Hello. Hi, Doctor. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet Hello. you, Doctor. Um, Hi there. Um, oh. What an impressive team, Bob. <laughs> Aren't they, though? Well, we better get down to business. Let's go into the office. Follow me. Thank you. She thinks your dad's Bob the Builder, not you. I know, Wendy. She'll soon realize. I'll just clear a space. Come on, Pilchard. You're going to have to move. <laughs> Cheeky rascal. Oh, poor little baby was having a nice sleepy weeby, weren't you? Aren't you a pretty little kitty catty? I'll take these, okay? She's a beauty. Look, Bobby. Wow. Now then, that's the gatehouse and the portcullis. They're still in a fairly good state. And look how thick those walls are. Yes, to keep out marauding enemies. Oh, what battles this castle must have seen. 
Archers raining arrows down on the merciless invaders. Prisoners thrown deep in the dungeons. Dungeons? Wow! I can't wait to see them! Ah, well, unfortunately, the entrance to the dungeons was lost when the keep got destroyed at the end of the last century. Oh. Such a shame. But as you can see, there's lots of other work for you to help your father with. That's right, Bobby. Plenty to do. But, Dad... Everywhere will need to be made safe for the public. Walkways, barriers, floodlights, that kind of thing. Of course, safety first. Now they've been singing your praises at local heritage, Bob. Say something, Bob, or she's going to give this job to your dad. Don't worry, Wendy. He'll tell her that they meant me. Can you fix it? Yes, I can. Don't you worry, dear. The job's as good as done. Oh? Bob's dad. Now that's something, isn't it, Bobby? Yes, it is. Phew, there's a lot to do. Imagine me getting a big job like this for us. You did say I needed a little project, Bobby. Yes, Dad, but there's nothing little about a castle. It's a challenge, son. Come on, team. Guys, you can't get in yet. We need to build a bridge first. Oh! Where's the old one gone? Well, Dizzy, the original drawbridge rotted away a long time ago. And who dug this big ditch? Yeah, it makes it really hard to get into the castle. Yes, well, that was the whole point. This ditch is called a moat. It was full of water in the olden days. Oh, uh, that's clever, isn't it? Exactly, Lofty. Well, team, we'd better get started. Muck, I'll need you to go and get the wood for the bridge. On my way, Bob's dad! Hold it, Muck. We need to order it first. And measure up. Good point, Bobby. So, you should get on to the suppliers. Um, do people really live here? I mean, there's no roof or anything. Yeah, and what's this over here? Ah, you found a flanking tower. You take this end, Wendy. Careful backing up. Are you holding that tight enough? I think so, Dad. That's it, Wendy. Thanks. I'll call JJ and order some... Oak, son. It has to be oak. <laughs> yes, Dad. I know. Um, so what kind of people lived here? Soldiers, mainly. The bravest of whom were called knights. One of the most famous of all knights was Sir Lancelot. Sir Lancelot? That's a funny name. What did he do? Well, he went on a quest. A quest? Yes. Sir Lancelot went to find a magical cup called the Holy Grail. Wow! I want to go on a quest! Fear not, my liege, for I, Sir Lancelot, will find the Grail, be it that I may meet fiery dragons and mighty warriors on my quest. Ooh! Fiery dragons? <laughs> cool! Um, did you find it? No, I'm afraid not, but he did his best. And he set out from Castle Camelot with his lance, like this. Oh, is that why he's called Sir Lancelot? Because he used his lance a lot? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Roly. Perhaps you're right, though. You never know. Yeah? Well, then that makes me Sir Roll-a-Lot. And I like to dig, so I'll be Sir Dig-a-Lot. Yeah, and I'm Lady Mix-a-Lot. Oh, uh, what could I be? Uh, what about <laughs> Sir Lift-a-Lot? Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Mark? Who's that? I think you'll find she's called Lady Dump-a-Lot now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going on a quest. Well, you got that right, youngster. You can go to JJ's and pick up the oak now. Hey, I have a quest! I have a quest! Godspeed, fair lady. Be brave. I bid you farewell. Buck. Greetings, fair spud. No time to stop. I am on a quest. 
I am Lady Dumpalot, and I seek the Holy Oak. What are you talking about? We're building a bridge over there at that ruined castle. You mean that pile of old stones is a castle? <laughs> yeah. Wow! Time Spud went and had a look. Verily, I bid thee farewell, Sir Spuddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sir Digalot, time to get rid of all that rubble and take it to the dump. No prob, Bob's dad. Don't forget, whatever you do, you mustn't get rid of all the old stonework in the moat. But Bob's dad just told me to throw... Uh, that's okay, Scoop. Dad was going to suggest we use all that old masonry for repair work, weren't you, Dad? That's right. It'll match in with the original stuff just perfect. I imagine you're learning just so much being your father's assistant. His assistant? Anyway, I have a mountain of work to do back at the office. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah! See you later, Bye. Bye. Bye, Dr. Mandy. Bye, dear. Bob, I've made a list of all the jobs I think we need to do. Um, do you want to check it? On my way. What? Whoa! Are you all right? Oh, never better, son. Wow, this place is great! I'm the king of the castle, and not a dirty rascal. Hello, Bob's dad. What are you doing down there? Afternoon, young spud. I was just, um, checking the moat. Really? Can I help? Oh, uh, thanks, but we have all the help we... I mean, yes, spud. I'm sure dad could really use a helpful assistant mm. like you. Spud's on the job. Interested in castles, are you, Spud? Oh, yes, yes, yes and a yes. Well, I'm sure Dad will show you around. But if I do that, who'll be in charge? <laughs> Where are the dungeons? I want to see the dungeons. <laughs> Bob, why does your dad think he's in charge? Yeah, he's being Sir boss a lot It's a long story, Scoop. Well, Dad's a dad. He's used to being the boss with me. He forgets I'm grown up. Well, uh, I'm sure if we give him little jobs to keep him busy, everything will be fine. Ta -ra -ta -ra! Lady Dumbledore has returned. Well done, Muck. Okay, everyone, time to start on the bridge. This is so great. Can, can we, we fix, fix it? it? We can fix a lot. Get it? Fix a lot. It's like Sir Lancelot. Uh, yeah, we're the Knights of Fix a Lot. Yeah! <laughs> and that up there is the portcullis. Once that was raised, the knights in shining armor would ride out and do battle. You mean fight and stuff? Oh, yeah. They galloped toward each other. On horses? Yeah, and tried to knock each other off with long poles. It was called jousting. That is so cool. I bet if I'd been around in the olden days, I'd have been a champion jouster, you know. Sir Spadalot, the super jouster strikes again. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. I know. I'll get myself a horse and some armor and, uh, what else do I need to be a knight? Sorry, Spud, I have work to do now. But I need to know more if I'm going to be a knight. Well, I bet if you went to the library, they'd be able to help you with armor and so on. Aha! Uh -huh. That will be Sir Spadalot's quest. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. Hmm. I'm sure I could get this working again. Probably needs a little oil and maybe some... Yes. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Spud, where are you going? Whoa! To the library. <laughs> the library? But what about helping my dad? I am. He wants me to go there. Clippity clop, oh, clippity clop, clippity clop. Does clop, he? Clop. Oh, dear. Then you know what that means, Bob. Yep. Dad's on the loose again. Oh. <laughs> Easy there, fella. <laughs> Whoa! Clippity clop, clippity clop. I suppose they'll <laughs> lend me some armor. That's what they do in libraries. Lend people stuff. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Whoa! <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Not you, doggy. Horsey. <laughs> Books, books, and more books. No sign of any armor. Excuse me. Ah! Sorry, so sorry. Didn't mean to startle you, but can I help? Are you looking for something in particular? Mm. Uh, 
I'm looking for armor. Knights of old and stuff? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Most interesting subject. But do you think, well, it's a rule in the library to keep, you know, quiet. Quiet? <laughs> Why is that? Shh, shh, shh. Sorry, so sorry. Because there are people here trying to read. Well, then, they've come to the right place. You can't move for books. Books, books, shh. books, books, and more books. Shh. Shh. Oh, shh. <laughs> I bet this portcullis hasn't been lowered in years. <laughs> well, I'll take care of that. Whoa! Dad? Oh, darn it. Dad, where are you? Are you all right? Up here, son. Kind of an accident. I was having a look at the portcullis machinery, see, and... Don't you worry, Dad. We'll get you right down. Lofty, over here. We need to rescue my dad. Sir, lift a lot to the rescue! One, two, three! Lift! lift. That's it, Sir lift a lot oh. Hurry up, it's heavy! Oh! Oh, oh Bob, your head! Dad! Sorry, son. Come on! That's it, Wendy! Uh. Pull harder! Uh. Uh. Take the strain! That's it! Oh! Oh! oh. Are you all right, Dad? Yes, son. Fine, thanks. The portcullis works just great now I fixed it. Okay, what's next on the list, Wendy? Oh, um, are you really sure you're... Oh. Hello? Bob the Builder? Yes, this is Bob the Builder. Oh, the other one. Hold on. It's for you, Dad. Oh, hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, dear, Bob. We need to get your dad away from the castle and give him a job he can't get into trouble with. I know. He could really have hurt himself back there. Hmm. Well, what about the maze? Nothing could happen to him in there. Good idea, Wendy. I'll talk to him. Sorry. <laughs> Here we are. This is our medieval history section. I'm sure. Hello? Boo! Ah! <laughs> sorry, so sorry. Oh, as I was saying, this is the medieval history section. And... Where's the armor? Well, in here. Now, I'm sure we'll. Uh... Oh, yes. Look. There. A knight of old astride his fiery charger. But that's not real armor. It's just pictures. Oh, I'm going to be a famous jouster. I can't joust without armor. I might get hurt. <laughs> oh, dear. I see. Well, where did uh, knights of old get their armor from? Hmm, um, well, I think they had it made for them. Oh, that's great! Spot will make his own! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! I need to stamp the book! Shh! Shh. Shh. Quiet! People are trying to read it here. But I like doing the stamping. Oh, for goodness sake. That was Dr. Mount Watson wanting a progress report. I told her how well we were doing. Oh. Okay, Bobby. You'll need to help me get the walls shored up now, and maybe Wendy could see to the maze. Oh, um, actually, Dad, do you think you could have a look at the maze? Well, what about the walls, Bobby? That's quite a job. Yes, I know, but so's the maze. And you're a dab hand with a pair of hedge trimmers, as I remember. Ha <laughs> ha, you're not wrong there, Bobby. You're right, Wendy. There's a lot to do in here. Sure is. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
Yes, please, Wendy. It's thirsty work. Well, everything seems to be going smoothly now that your dad's got a job to keep him busy. Yeah. Well, like you said, he can't get into much trouble in the maze, can he? Help! Help! <coughs> oh, no. Spoke too soon. Help! I'm stuck in the maze! Bobby! Can you hear me? Help! Dad! Where are you? I don't know. I'm lost. I can't get out. Hold on, Dad. I'll get Lofty to lift me up so I can see where you are. Lofty! Lofty! Could you bring my safety harness, please? Uh, coming, Bob. Thanks, son. What do you think of my hedges? Very nice, Dad. I've lost my touch, have I? <laughs> They're a lift a lot to the rescue. Uh, again? Dad's lost in the maze. Can you lift me up so I can see him? Oh, uh, OK, Bob. Over here, son. Okay, Dad. Walk toward me and then make a left. Got you, Bobby. No, Dad. Left, left. Your left. That's it. Now right. That's it, Dad. Straight ahead. Yes, and right again. You're getting there. Oh, this could take some time. That's it, Dad. Keep going. Almost here. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Boy. It's a maze of pathways in there. They all look the same. Yeah, I know, Dad. I think it's time to go home. Good idea. OK, everyone. Time to call it a day. Huh? Can you get the phone, Dad? No problem. Hello? Well, hi there. <laughs> I'm having such a great time. I can't wait for you to see the castle, Dot. I hope you and Bob aren't working too hard. Don't you worry. You know you mustn't lift anything heavy, Robert. Yes, but I think I'll have to stay for a few weeks to see the job through. You are eating properly, aren't you? Not just sandwiches, I hope. No, but... And wearing your thick socks. Yes, but Bobby won't get the job done without me. Of course not, dear. Say hi to Mom for me. Bobby sends his love, and we'll call you again tomorrow. All right, dear. Night-night. Bye, hun. Um, Dad, I think we need to have a little talk. Oh, what well, do you think, Bobby? Now, I don't quite know how to put this, Dad. You see, well, it's just great to see you. I mean, you're always welcome. You know that. And, well, it's, it's just... Uh, I'd be able to get on with the job a little better if, well, if you weren't, you know, taking charge so much. Tomorrow, you'll have to let me be in charge and get on with things on my, on my... Dad? Oh, Dad. <laughs> Now all I need is a fiery charger. <laughs> Boy, this is gonna be so much fun! Come on, Get down the legs! Wait for me! Turn left a lot! Morning, everyone. Good morning! Good morning. Morning, dear. What remarkable progress you made yesterday. Oh, thanks. We, and today um... we'll get even more done. Can I have a look at the list, Wendy? Oh, uh, um, yes, I suppose so. Now, let's see. Wendy, you and Dizzy can finish the mortaring. Rolly, you need to flatten the turf, and the rest of you but can... But, Dad... Don't worry, Bobby, I haven't forgotten you. I want you to make a start on clearing all the overgrown bushes. Dad, I don't think... It's all right, Bobby, I'm gonna help you. Thanks, Dad. Oh... Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Do not mess with me, Sir Lab, for I am Sir Spadalot, astride my fiery charger. <laughs> hey, Sue, Sue! Sue! Hey, that's my fiery charger! Oh, oh I'm gonna have to find something better than this. <laughs> Wow. <laughs>
Dad, this just isn't working. You can't keep taking over everything. You have to let me be in charge. Too mean? No. How can I tell him without hurting his feelings? Just been showing Dr. Thingamajig the portcullis. She was very impressed. What? Oh, uh, really? Yes, and now I want to show her the plans for the visitor's center. Where are those notes you made last night, Bobby? In my lunchbox. But, Dad, oh, those were my ideas. Oh, oh, brother. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going to tell him. What's this? A door. I wonder if Dr. Mount Fitchett knows about this. Oh, if I don't find my fiery charger soon, I'll never get to practice. Ah. <gasps> Aha! Priscilla! Nice cow. Um, how would you like ah. it if... Spud, that super jouster, and his fiery charger, Chris. <laughs> Silly cow. It's a little stuck. Uh. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Looks like dungeons. Dungeons? But... Oh, I dreamed of a moment like this since I was a girl. Come on, Bobby. Let's take a look. After you. I'm right behind you. Whoa, it's kind of dark down here. I'll go and get a couple of flashlights. Oh, the scenes of drama that must have unfolded down here. These walls just shriek. History. Oh, here's your father with the flashlights. Thanks, Dad. Now, whatever you do, don't shut the... door. Sorry, son. Force of habit. It's all right, Dad. You didn't know there was no handle on this side. Oh, this looks like a way out. Looks like we're kind of stuck, doesn't it, Bobby? Oh, but it is exciting, isn't it? Just think. We can convert these rooms into a cafe, or a conference room, or even a waxwork museum. Oh, I can't wait to tell local heritage. Dad? Yes, Bobby? Look, I... Dad, could you stop calling me Bobby? Sorry, son. I didn't realize it bothered you. You should have said something earlier. I know, and it's not just that, Dad. It's... Oh, how can I say this? Well, you keep taking over the job. But you keep letting me. I thought it was what you wanted. But I didn't say anything because you seemed to be really enjoying yourself and I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I am enjoying myself, but to be quite honest, I was feeling a little out of my depth, but I didn't want to let you down. But you took charge right from the start and let Dr. Mount Fitchett think you were Bob the Builder. Oh dear, there seems to have been a little misunderstanding. Just which one of you is Bob the Builder. He I am. Is. Oh. I'm sorry, Bobby. Uh, Bob, I didn't mean to take charge. It's just, well, old habits die hard, I suppose. It's okay, Dad. Anyway, it's both our faults. We need to be honest with each other from now on. Uh, it's a deal, son. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's just like you know. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we better think about how we're going to get out of here. I know. I'll call Wendy on my cell phone. Great idea, son. Oh, it's no use. There's no signal. The walls must be too thick. What should we do now? <laughs> I don't know. You're the boss. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Dad. All right. Why don't you have a look down that passageway? On my way. And I'll go and bang on the door and see if I can make someone hear us. Mm hmm And I'll come with you. Oh. Boy. Hmm. Oh, 
no, we're never going to get out of. Ah! Oh boy, now what have I done? Bob's gonna be mad at. Wow. Behind this there? door! Oh, it's no use. I think the door is too thick. We better go and see where Dad's gone. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yes! And in one bound, he was stuck in the rotten maze again. Bob? Bob? Where is everybody? Bob? Bob? Dad? Dad, where are you? Strange, it's a dead end. Your father's vanished into thin air. <laughs> of course he hasn't. We must have passed him. Come on, let's go back. Oh, oh, get off, get off, get off. Get away, get away, get away, leave me. <gasps> it's only a little spider. That set shivers down my spine. Ow. Oh. Can't I get anything right? Oh. Dad! Dad, where are you? Right here, son. Oh, how wonderfully spooky. But, but how did you get there? Oh, my word. Well, son, you won't believe it, but I leaned against part of the wall and it just spun around. I found this staircase and went up it, it and- It could only happen to you, Dad. <laughs> and that led to the maze and, um, I'm afraid you're not going to like this, Bob. Oh, no. Now what's happened? Well, I had to think quick. Oh, Dad, what have you done? Oh, well, come on. You're bound to find out sooner or later. <laughs> Did he do it oh, on purpose? No, Bob's not gonna like it. Oh, Dad! Oh, I know. I've let you down. Oh, it's, it's, it's. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's wonderful. Just look. There's a knight in shining armor. Is there? <laughs> oh, so there is. <laughs> That's Sir Clipped a lot. But Dr. Mount Fitchett, the maze, it's. Well, it isn't exactly a maze anymore, is it? No, but this is so much, much better. Don't you see? With a little work, this will be the most magnificent example of topiary ever seen. Um, what's topiary? Well, it's when you trim a tree or a bush into a special shape. I finally got something right. I'd better get clipping again, huh? <laughs> yes, Dad. We'll need the hedges shaped like kings. And queens. Yes, and damsels in distress. Oh, and an archer with a bow and arrow. And jesters. And, um, have we left anything out, Dr. Mount Fitchett? Oh, joyful. It's a medieval celebration. <gasps> Do you know, Bob, you've given me a wonderful idea for the grand opening. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Finished. Well done, everybody. Yeah. 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 That was fantastic. <laughs> I'm proud of you, son. Well, things did go much better after we had our little talk. And I backed off like I should have from the start. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, Dad. Aw. Come on, let's go home and call your mother. I can't wait to see her. Lies on yonder hill. Tis fix a lot. I speaketh in a th different th 
language. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Hey, look at that bird. It's beautiful. Come on, let's follow it. Rock and roll! Will you be entering the joust, Sir Knight? Or are you going to branch out into swords play? <laughs> oh, better go. Uh-oh, the portcullis is down. How are we going to get in? Halt! Who goes there? We are the Knights of Fix-A-Lot. Freeze the portcullis! Freeze the portcullis! Welcome. Welcome. It's wonderful of you to join me at this magnificent pageant. Please join in in all the revelries. It's such fun. Pickles, you'll have to try my gingerbread, all made by my bare hands. Oh, 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 oh. look at that beautiful falcon. Oh, that is just precious. I'm so glad you could be here, Mom. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <gasps> Doesn't it all look lovely? I'm so proud of Aww. my boys. <laughs> well, it was teamwork, Dot. You can't beat it. Hey, Bob, we'll have to line up another little project for next year. <laughs> we'll get back to you on that one, won't we, Wendy? <laughs> we will. I hope you haven't been making a nuisance of yourself, Robert. He hasn't, Mom. <laughs> it's been great spending so much time together. And I think they both learned something about each other. Hmm. Anything to do with who's in charge? You know us too well, Mom. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, Dorothy, it's just great to see you. Friar Bentley, I presume. Have you met the fair lady Barbara? Very nice to meet you. You too. Roll up, roll up, get a your many pizzas. I'm not sure they had pizzas back then. But maybe they did. <laughs> See, oh. the medieval juggler juggle. <laughs> That's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> That's very clever, Mr. Beasley. <laughs> oh, whoops. Keep practicing, dear. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Beasley. Fair maiden sigh as the knights ride by their flags and... What on earth's that, dear? She can shatter a glass at 50 paces. <laughs> Look out! Here comes Sir Spider-Man! <laughs> 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 Sir, spud -Lot's on the job. Oh, Spud, you're such a ninny. Bob, Robert, over here. Come on, you two. You can be the crowning glory of our medieval pageant. Which one of you will be the king? Oh, um, you be the king, Dad. No, son, you'd make a better king. No, you would, Dad. No, but... Come on, you two. Make up your minds. Okay, then. I'll be king. A decision at last. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son, huh? Oh, I have to get a picture. I'll just get the camera. Oh, yes, you should. <laughs> oh, Bob, you look so silly. 
I, King Bob of Fix-A-Lot, knight thee. Arise, Sir Dadalot. Oh, long live the king. Long live the king. Yeah!